Uh, so you're going to do two, uh, um, two sort of submissions from the takedown. Okay, so he shoots in for the takedown. Then I'm going to turn, drop my knee to the floor, head on the back of the head, hand on the back of the head, and then yank my foot out. See, I keep keeping pressure on the back of his head here every time I turn around. Now, yeah, once I turn around, I drop to my back, uh, my chest on his back. Okay? Come on that way. All right, so then I'm going to go one arm under the armpit. Yeah? One arm over the shoulder here. All right, and then come on the other side. All right, so I put my hand like this onto his shoulder like that, so my palm's facing out, so it's like a little way. All right, then I go palm to palm and gave a grip. Forearm goes into the back of their neck, yeah, and I'm going to push down and lift up, okay? So I push down, lift up, so he goes onto his side. Then I walk around and block his arm with my chest, okay? Here. All right, and then I drive my arm through as deep as I can get it, Pushing the head back if I, if I need to. Go for like a rear naked choke grip here. All right, I can squeeze there until he taps. Or if he's not tapping there, then I want to drive this shoulder to the floor by sort of sprawling and doing it. Okay? All right, that's one. Number two. So, here. Same, same setup. Pull my leg out. Get around to chest on chest. And go straight for this move again. Palm facing up. Gable grip here. I roll him onto his side, but he's wise and he comes back up. Okay? And then I'm struggling to get him here on his side. So what I do here look, is I'm going to stand up with one leg. Yeah? I start to sit back onto this leg and throw the other leg over the top. Yeah? Then I pull in with my arms and sort of secure in there with my legs until you get the tap. And that's it.